Hey guys, Troy with Benchmade, and we are in the booth at uh, SHOT Show 2020 with GP Knives. So I am going to run through our first release for 2020 here, and we'll jump into the Blue Class, a knife that everybody's familiar with, the Bug Out. Um, so what we've done is we've changed the handle material on this knife primarily. Uh, we've gone from Grivery to CF Elite, and what we're essentially doing is cutting weight and providing more rigidity. Uh, so you won't see as much flex in between those handle scales as you did on the predecessors of this bug out. So all black, uh, this is going to be full line availability and a uh, great addition to that ultralight bug out family that we've had going for a couple years now. Staying on that same trend, we now have uh, the mini bug out. So we've been listening to feedback. Um, we shrunk this guy down. This will actually fit in an Altoids tin. Uh, so you get a lot of people getting into survival and ultralight through hiking and stuff like that. Want to have an emergency preparedness kit in an Altoids tin. These guys will complement that nicely. We have two different color options and we stuck with the Grivery and S30V combination on the blades. So you've got a black blade there. And we've got a satin silver here on the hunter orange handle. This guy does have uh, orange accents on the standoffs and thumb studs as well. So awesome little mini bug out. And one of the knives I am most excited about is the Jared Oser collaboration. This is the 601 Tangu. Uh, this is the first time that we've collaborated with Jared. And this is also the first time that he's worked with a production knife manufacturer. So. Uh, great little gentleman's flipper here. It's got an awesome action. It is not assisted and we've got black and white G10 handles with a tuxedo backspacer uh, CPM 20 CV blade steel and kind of a, a modern Tonto Liner lock on this guy does not come with a pocket clip. So we've got an American leather um, Pocket sleeve and we've got the Benchmade logo pressed in and the American flag on the backside black and white matches the coloration of the knife itself. This is one that I am incredibly stoked on. So great little knife there. Moving on to uh, actually a black class knife that I feel fits best in kind of the EDC space. So this is the new Mediator 8551. Uh, we went S90V, reverse Tonto. So that's kind of trending towards that EDC high edge retention user group. Um, G10 handles, textured G10 here, nice small push button auto, and uh, mini deep carry clip right out of the factory. So that's the mediator. We've got a, uh, a limited edition 940. So this is actually the 20th anniversary of the first 940 that we ever did with Mr. Warren Osborne. So S90V on the blade, uh, just classic sleek titanium handles with a little touch of red on the thumb studs and the standoffs. Again, we went mini deep carry clip right out of the factory there. These guys are gonna be limited to 2000 pieces. Um, so they're gonna go pretty quickly. Try to get your hands on one as quick as you can. Great variation of the 940. Kind of trending over to black class here. Um, the bailout has been a very popular knife as we start to expand upon that ultralight uh, slim profile folder. This is kind of the tactical variation or cousin of the bug outs. Uh, previously, we did have Grivery handles and a 3V blade. This has gone to M4 and an anodized green woodland aluminum. So with that aluminum, it's almost a bead blast feeling finish. You do have more texture to it than some of the slicker aluminum you'll see on the market. Um, Great color juxtaposition between the uh, gray Cerakote here on the blade and that woodland green anodization. Yeah. We have added a pom pommel and a tungsten carbide glass punch down here at the bottom. A very rigid knife. This is definitely more substantial in the hand than the previous bailout. Um, and then again, mini deep carry clip right out of the factory. So that's the new bailout. We've got two variations of the Autocrat. Um, the previous Autocrat, blue anodization on the hardware, smooth black G10 handles. These guys are now peel ply G10, so you have a little bit more texture in hand. And we just kind of trended this back towards the tactical side of the spectrum. There's still dual edge S30V coated blades, and you've got an FDE and OD option here. So that's the Autocrat. 
The Presidios have been refreshed. Uh, this is a legacy product. We've been doing these guys for almost 20 years. We cut away from the aluminum and went to that same CF Elite material we saw in the new bug out. Lightened these guys up significantly from the aluminum counterparts. You have a little bit more dimpling and texture within the recesses of these handles here. And we stuck with the S30V blades drop point on both. Um, these are available in manual 570-1 and 575-1 minis. So those are the Presidios. And we've got a new iteration of the Sock P folder. So we went with an axis lock this time around, kept the thumb disc, D2 blade. This is a collaboration with Greg Thompson, um, who developed the Special Operations Combative Program. Also, again, glass breaker down towards the base here. And this guy comes out of the factory with a split clip. We do provide the traditional Sock P thumb disc clip as well. In the packaging with the purchase of the knife, you'll get a T6 Torx driver and a little bottle of blue Loctite as well, so that when you reinstall the hardware after changing the clip, you are installing them correctly in a manner that will stay over time. You do have the option for tip up or tip down ambidextrous carry on this knife, um, and that extra clip will help you play around with the configuration that's right for you. So that's the 391 Sock P folder. We've got, just quickly touch on the SHOT Show Special this year. This is a 575 Mini Presidio. Uh, we went with an M4 blade and uh, kind of a burnt bronze anodization on the aluminum handles here. These are gonna be a very limited quantity, um, but an awesome knife, awesome knife nonetheless. Last but not least, we've got the unlimited limited gold class knife for the year it's the mini crooked river we've got marbled carbon fiber handles with a refer a loom yellow moon inlay there's a little bit of brass in there that complements the anodization on thumb studs pivot collar and standoffs nicely these are going to be manufactured throughout the entire calendar year of 2020 and then new year's eve hits we're done and this is a Vinland Donna steel pattern blade. So that's the gold mini Crooked River. And that's the 2020 product for SHOT Show from Benchmade. If you like what you've seen today and you'd like to see more, follow us on social media, like the video below, and subscribe to our YouTube channel feed for updates on all new products.